Everybody. That is Collector right. Here. What is up? What is up? What is up? We have our mail call for the week. We got a box from eBay, box from Amazon. We got a lot of good stuff we're going to make a video about. We're going to open up this real quick just to make sure it is what we ordered and then go from there. I don't know how it's really in here, so I don't want to break something just in case. And Bubble wrap. Oh my god, we got the best. Okay. Look at this, it's the bubble wrap. Okay, this one's heavy and it's taped. So just Ooh, box of goodies. Fighting with the tape at this moment. This nice so, is a little dull. This is one of those things where I love this and um, my wife doesn't like it nearly as much. It's just but, a little bit before my time, I think. I was born in 92. So. Oh man, there it is. This bag. There it is. Bag that looks crap. cool. All right. That's my dad would say box of. So. Oh. Don't want to crunch it. I'm not gonna crunch it. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. These are sideshow. Sword, I think. Oh. Is it broken? Tip is broken on the sword. We'll have to fi fix that. Hopefully it's in the box. Um, if, not, if not, we'll pick it up. Like, we got an amazing deal on these figures. Sorry, I'm trying not to break anything. I want to be at fault for it. There's a flag. Oh my god, you just scared me. A little tip broken on that, but like that I said, I, I, I picked this up for such a great price. And look who I have. There's Patsy. So, how does he look? At least he looks great. Everything. Speed good are bound. Yeah, everything's in good condition. Got rocks. Back of him, everything's looking good. That's what they are. We'll have to get his bag on him. All right. He's got his coconuts. Oh, well, the coconuts. All right. Remember, I told you about I want to get the coconut thing. That's why. Sorry. All right, the bag looks amazing. The bag seems to have no damage at least. Like I said, you know, little pieces we could always get. And there he is, the Black Knight. Oh man. All right, let's get them set up and see how they look. All right, so these two are out of the box. Um, I hold this. We paid a great price for them, so the little things that aren't perfect, I'll deal with and I'll, I'll get replaced. We are not doing product placement in our video. We're just at work and it just got delivered here. But I think the faces look great on on this one so far. I love the stand. Uh, Patsy didn't come with a stand, but I paid only thirty bucks for the pair of these. I won it on eBay. Price was amazing. The tip of his sword is a little broken, so I'll be looking for a replacement sword. But like I said, what we paid, uh, you can't complain. And we still have one more. Now, this one should be pretty darn good condition. Monty Python, the Holy Grail. The Dead Collector. This one I had to have. Bought a new inbox. So it's got the stand. This is the muddy version. Um, would I pay 40 bucks? I think so. I think I paid about 40 bucks for this ship. You know, yes, these figures are a little old, but they're still good. Um, Everything down here. What does it say? Thou shalt, shalt 
exercise extreme caution whilst removing thy contents herein. If you doubt your courage or strength, case entry cease or entry. cease yeah, yeah, yeah. cease entry to this package for severe flesh wounds await you with all nasty, tiny, sharp, pointy edges. <laughs> God, anybody who's seen the movie knows. Oh, look at that. I don't know if that's coming through. We are going to complete this collection. Um, might take a little while. But some of them aren't as cheap as this. That's what they do. But everything looks great. We're going to do a, a unboxing of this yeah. a little later. But thank you, everybody. We'll review this. Budget collector out. What is good, everybody? We're at our local mall. Wait, no, we're not at a mall. We're at our local Walmart. We're gonna check and see if um, I don't know. We we haven't gotten any of the NECA yet that a lot of other stores are getting. So I'm gonna see if we got it yet. Also, I'm gonna see if we got any new legends, any deals. You never know. Plus, uh, I don't know. Let's have some fun. I'll, I'll check you back out when we get to the toy section. All right. So, three and three quarter. We got X-Wing Pilot Luke. Oh. Um. Transformers. Got this one. For some reason, I really like the look of this one. This is Construction High Tower. I really think this one looks good. I have been on the fence about this one for a little while right now. Here we go. Thundercrack or uh, yeah, Thundercracker. Never know when you need to buy a Thundercracker. Um, brute red alert, drop kick, red alert, hound, hound, brute, all the same old same. No real luck with that. With the bar two pack. Stone Mom. Cold and Goldberg. These aren't elite, so. Not quite. Anybody need a bear? <laughs> hey, there's a, a tree pack. Oh. Uh, there's an elephant, though. I love elephants. See, you got yourself an elephant. Micro drone. All right, so they have the Legends on sale for sixteen eighty two, but they're the same peg warmers that they have had at this store for a while. The only two that I'm thinking about getting, I never bought the cannonball. I just, the no legs thing really gets me. I didn't buy Gambit. Because I'm trying to stop. And Hydro Man. The only three I haven't bought that are here. Oh, I kind of like this. How much is this? I don't know. Found it randomly. Actually looks good. It's pretty. Um, I'll have to check the price on that. Like I've told you guys before, our Walmart is very, very small. Um, really, all they did when they upgraded our Walmart was add food. A lot of food. Yes. They just added whatever people can use food stamps for. Amen. Oh, look at this. 
That looks good. I've been on the fence about getting that. 1297, that's not bad. Alright, so we got the Red Ranger, the Gold Ranger. We have the Lost Galaxy Mega Defender. Looks pretty cool. So no new Oh god, nothing new at all actually. No Rangers, this no This is why we go there. I'm about to start buying Nerf. Cuz it's Nerf or nothing. All right, let's see anything good in uh the Lego section. Let's see, I'm thinking about buying this and doing like I said put those things on. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good job. Run away, run away, run away. You want that color? Oh, I didn't know there was different colors. Gray. Whatever color you like, it's your projects. My project. I'm just gray because um, gray goes with Oh, look, they got $2 off on the Harry Potter on the Batmobile. There's a couple there on sale. I've been waiting for that to go on sale. I really want that. Is the one I want on sale? I don't know. It seems like a bunch of them are. I forgot where... So there are a lot on sale, but it doesn't seem to be the one that she wanted. I wish I had the patience to build these, but I, I do not have about two well, minutes into a, it. You have a wife. Two minutes into it, I'm ready to give up. But me. Yeah, she can do it though. Nimble little fingers. Nimbalities. I'm waiting for that one to go on sale. I'm waiting forever. Oh. Hey, check the person this one. That's like 15, I'll get it. Hey buddy, how you doing? How you doing? Come and say hello. What is good everybody? Budget Collector back again, once again. We have NECA, Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn, Walmart exclusive. That is right, boys and girls. Walmart is having NECA. I think we were paid, uh, we paid what, $29.99, something like that. So it was sub 30 before taxes, and now you're getting NECA. We also picked up a Chucky, Bride of Chucky, mm -hmm. with uh, the medallion and everything, a new one. I haven't seen before, so we got them both. We're gonna run through this first though. Let's see, kiss your nerves goodbye. Great looking freaking art on the front of this box. Side simple, but still good. Back shows you what you're getting, a little write up. Moving right along, pop it open, boom. Here we go. We have a great photo of him with Evil Ash, the two pack, but with the new figure. So this one, in my opinion, his face is a little more slender. Uh, you'll notice it as we go right along. Mine, his chainsaw's a little crooked. We're gonna see how that fixes. Let's tear right into it and see how much fun this is. So there it is out of the box. You get three head sculpts, the Necronomicon, the dagger, and also the boomstick. Um, right now, from just a quick glance, the sculpt looks really good. We're gonna tear it apart and take a look. Okay, so quick contents of the box. Here we go. He comes with this head right here on him, but then he has two more head sculpts. This one is a little beat up, looking off to the side. 
closed mouth. And a five o'clock shadow. Then this one, he's got his evil grin, eyes all dark, blood everywhere. Looks like he's already gone nuts. Boomstick. Looks good. Doesn't open or anything, but still not bad. It's NECA. Not expecting the world. The dagger. Looks good. Pretty cool sculpt. Ah, paint job could have been done a little differently in my eyes, but still really good looking. The Necronomicon. And it opens. This thing looks great. I am in love with this book. Bound in human flesh, right? Isn't that what they say? It's bound in human flesh? Yep. Alright. So, moving quickly right to the thing. This is where all the fun is anyhow. There it is. So he does come with the chainsaw already attached. This head sculpt. He looks more startled, I would say. Let's see if we can get up nice and close for it. A little too close, I think. Yeah, maybe a little too close. Let's see. There we go. That looks good. But you can really see what you're getting there. It is a good looking face. Um, he's back. He has a spot for his boomstick. Let's see how that fits. So there we go. That's looking good already. Do a quick little run through with some articulation. Let's see. Alright, so articulation in the head. Let's see. Side to side. Very little bit of up and down. His hair is blocking that. Not much there. The articulation isn't going to be great from what I gather. His um, clothing really is limiting his articulation across the board. There's a little bit of something there. I don't want to mess with that. That is not looking like if I mess with it, that'll stay together. But the chainsaw does look really good. Um, it's not zooming as good as I would like. But you see all the color, all the blood. He's definitely been messing up some deadites. Mm -hmm. This side. You know, he's got more articulation on this side. Due to the fact that the arm is out. But still, single joint in the elbow. But he can get out a little more. That all looks pretty good. Right here, it sucks. This torso would have more articulation if it wasn't for his clothing. So that's limited, a little swivel there, and uh, that's about all for kicking back. Well, you should have just been naked or something. So like really, not a ton of articulation, but it looks good, and that's what I care about. When it comes down to my figures like this, you know, I'm not doing too many crazy um, poses, maybe not nearly as many as I would with other figures. Let's switch heads and take a look how it looks with the... Alright, switched up a little bit. Switch it to him holding the Necronomicon and his demented face like he's losing his mind. Really, all in all, I'm liking it. Down here at the leg, he has um, torn apart clothing. Tor like His ribs has already been smashed and bleeding and everything else. Really, it looks like he's gone through straight hell. And I like it. I would say... Um, yeah, if you already have the two-pack, you might be able to skip this. You know, it depends on if you really need this figure. Um, I like that the book opens, personally. Yeah, book opening and this right here. The chainsaw looks really good. I don't know. There's definitely some positives, but... You know, it depends on what you feel. If you feel like you need all of them, get them all. Me, you know, I like the fact that we got all these extra heads. There'll be stuff I'll be able to do with all this. 
and it's gonna look freaking great on my shelf. But, you know what we're doing. We're moving right along to the next spot of tossing toys. And I am pulling out something that my wife has wanted since she saw the solicitation. Deadpool and Hitmonkey. We're not going any slower. We're gonna roll right through this. So, we're gonna open it up and you tell me what you guys think. I honestly think it looks pretty neat. The front of the packaging looks great. You can see everything. Cool 80s vibe right there. I love, I love that. You know, and, and the fact you're getting Hit Monkey. Who the hell is going to say, yeah, who's going to say no to Hit Monkey? So, I'm going to open it up and we're going to take a look. So, you have a ton of accessories in this. You have Deadpool with their brand new face sculpt. Him in his suit. The white suit looks great. Guitar. Shield. Great looking gun right there. That thing is I so cool. I need a cool. gun just like that myself. Hit monkey. Yeah. Everybody needs a hit monkey. That, that's, that's what I would have, have to say. Um, and then... Head pull. I definitely want a head pull too. So let's rip this out and... Uh, we're gonna start with Hit Monkey. So, you definitely get a lot in the box for 39 bucks. You have five guns, two swords, guitar, shield, radio remote control car with Deadpool on it, headphones. <laughs> really, he has a little bit of everything. I would have to say this thing is well stocked um he, you know hit monkey is very difficult to stand his feet are hands hands are feet blase 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 let's be honest pain in the ass to stand but i do have him standing right now with two of his guns in his hand so first we're going to start with hit monkey because i don't feel like having him fall around and we'll go from there all right so hit monkey you know we're talking about a figure that stands about three and three quarters but looks great. Love the colors. His face stands out like crazy with his teeth, especially contrasting with the white suit. Um, of his head, I don't know if you realize, but there's white up there. Yeah, you got gray in his hair, white in his hair. Looks good. Um, cool sunglasses, so he's got his freaky deeks on. Articulation. Let's see. Head. You know. Really not that bad. Better than what I was just dealing with with NECA. Arm. Plenty around. Let's see. Out. Single jointed. Wrist. You know, good amount of rotation there. The articulation is not that bad for such a small figure. I'm not complaining. So, really... You could make this thing look pretty freaking cool. And that right there is going to make it so he, he look like he's really dynamic jumping. Especially with his hand feet. Um, really, I think that's going to look great. Weapons. There's two of these. They look exactly the same. And two of these are exactly the same. So it really depends on what you want to display them with. But it literally says one and two on the pistols. These just, you know, we're not talking about highly detailed guns. Don't get me wrong, but worth the money. Hit Monkey's a bad little mamma jamma. Moving right along to head pool. All right, so he's got like a little remote control car that says big pool. You know, his head doesn't swivel, but his dunce hat does. He's got himself a little flag. flag. This thing is going to look great. And, and honestly, the sculpt of that face is really, really good. That's going to be fun. Tires don't move. It's just for looks. All right. Now, you take a look at this gun. That thing pops. That's going to look great in Deadpool's hand. Shield. Classic shield. Two different ways, right there, or if you 
put it out just like every other shield <clears throat> from the Marvel Legends line. Swords, the katanas. So one, one of them one. has blood at the tip. My wife pointed that out and didn't really realize it. So that's really kick ass that one of them does. And really the 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 hilt looks good. You know, it's definitely detailed enough. I'm pleased with it. Alright. Now the guitar. This thing made me have to have it. I'm probably not gonna have it displayed with the weapon in his hand. I have plenty of deadpools with guns and stuff. Swords. That is literally kick ass in my mind. Then we also have headphones. They look really cool. Like I said, this is just full, full of freaking accessories. All right, first is a half, half mask face, cool smile. Then we have a complete unmasked head. That I I throw think around. I that one. Let's try that again, huh? The blooper reel. All right, we're gonna work as a team here, but turn it to the side. That that looks really good. I can't wait to see that on, cause I like that better than the traditional style head. And his eyes really look good. Like I don't know if they're coming out that well. I know my yeah, hands look couple. really rough. Yeah, you're. It's I think it's focusing on your cuts. But those eyes look really good. And then there he is. Deadpool. Alright. So. I do like the white really pops. His tie. All that. Let's see. You know, everything looks really good. Finally, we got... Double jointed elbows. So this guy is going to have the articulation that everything should have. You know. I'm sure we've all seen a Marvel Legend by now. I don't have to show you really in-depthly what the hell a fucking Marvel Legends articulation looks like. Because hopefully we all know. But... You know, this one's a little different. He's got some really kick-ass shoes. These patent white leather shoes look great in my eyes. Um, they really stand out. And the fact that he has his own instrument. All right, there. We got Jam Pool instead of Deadpool, man. That looks so cool. I really am enjoying the guitar. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to look cool when we give him a shield and all these guns yeah like this you know all this stuff but having him I think that would be even be better what do you think maybe having him with a guitar made my day yeah man that's gonna make my day I swear when I get home from work and I just got done doing a freaking 16 or 14 hour shift and I just got done dealing with some of the nicest customers in the world Let's put it that way. This right here is definitely going to make me smile. And let's be honest. Why do we do this? Why do we collect? Why do we buy things? Because it gives us that warm, tingly feeling inside. It makes us feel freaking good. And this one right here makes me smile. So, I want to thank you. I'm not going to run right through all this. You'll get a better review from somebody else. And you'll watch the review from somebody else. Here at Tossing Toys, I'm just going to give you the fun. Let's be honest, I would say buy it if you have a chance to. You know, you're going to have a lot of fun with this. This is going to really be a, a figure that you know, looks great in your collection, looks way different than the rest. So, deal is, if you find it, buy it. If you don't like it, then don't buy it. I get that. But if you like Deadpool, get him. Um, as long as you're not overpaying we got to stop overpaying everybody. Let's not pay these. All right, everybody. There's our quick tossing toys for the Deadpool Hit Monkey 2-pack. And also the Evil Dead 2 um, by NECA. Love them both. 
very pleased. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be doing some photos tomorrow, putting them up on Instagram. I know I've been very inactive lately. Foliage in Vermont is a ter terrible, terrible, terrible time to try doing anything other than work. I'm in a restaurant. All I do is work during this time. So it's starting to w wind down, and that means you guys will get a lot more of me. I got a con coming this weekend that we're going to film. It's going to be a great time. So please like, comment, share, subscribe. The... Ugh. See, I'm over here yawning. The budget collector, the collecting crew is growing every day, man. Thank you, everybody. Make sure you guys check out Carbar Customs, his great dioramas, which are going to be featured in the Instagram post with some of these fakes. Thank you again. Peace!